नमस्ते वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल क्यूबेड एजुकेशनल सर्विसेज एज यू माइट बी नोइंग इन दिस वीडियो सीरीज वी आर सॉल्विंग द एस आर एप्टीट्यूड टेस्ट ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन फिजिक्स एम सी क्यूज एंड दिस इज अवर टेंथ वीडियो इन दैट सीरीज वेयर वी विल बी सॉल्विंग क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी फाइव वी ऑलरेडी सॉल्व द फर्स्ट नाइन एम सी क्यूज इन अवर प्रीवियस वीडियोज लेट रीड द स्टेटमेंट वॉट इज द टाइम टी टेकन बाय द कपैसिटर इन द गिवन सर्किट टू चार्ज टू वन ओवर रूट टू पाय ऑफ इट्स फुल कपैसिटी and in this circuit we have got the capacitor uh, here okay connected between these two ends so let us name these two ends as a and b okay and on uh, one side we have got a resistor r and a battery with potential difference or emf v and on the other side also we have got a battery and a resistor r now in order to calculate uh, the the charge okay we first need to know the potential difference between the two ends or between the two plates of the capacitor okay because we know that c is equal to q by v correct so q will always be proportional to v okay so let us first try to find uh, vab here v is equal to vab the potential difference between the ends a and b okay so let us now draw those two ends here a and b i'm not showing the capacitor deliberately first uh, let me draw this branch okay first let me draw this branch so uh, from a to b even uh, if you go then okay from a to b uh, okay on uh, the orange color if you go from a to b then we have got a battery whose positive terminal is connected to a whose negative terminal is connected to b and there is a resistor r okay now if i draw this end okay let me show it in blue color if i go from a to b the negative terminal of the battery is connected to a now i can show the resistor anywhere it doesn't matter be before the battery or after the battery okay so this is going to be the sketch now we observe that both these batteries are connected in parallel between a and b across ab okay so across ab across ab what will be the net potential difference net potential difference will be given by now we have to observe this carefully let us first consider the potential difference due to pink branch whose positive terminal is connected to a so this will try basically try to raise the potential of a with respect to b but at the same time we have this uh, other battery which is which i have shown in the blue color it will try to raise the potential of b relative to a and the the rise in the potentials will be equal to the fall in the potentials because the resistor is same and the emf that these batteries are offering they are also equal okay so okay anyways we'll write it so the, the formula okay if you if you don't know there is a formula which allows us to calculate the equivalent emf between two ends across which we have connected multiple batteries in parallel and this is the simplest of the cases where we have only two of them so it is epsilon 1 r1 where r1 is the internal resistance but let's take it as r okay so here we will have something like this vr plus negative v into r upon r plus r so because v uh, the polarities are opposite the net potential difference will be zero so if vab remains zero forever the capacitor will never begin to charge itself okay so it will never get charged to 1 over root 2 pi of its full capacity okay so for all values of t vab is zero okay vab is zero therefore capacitor will never begin to charge will never begin to charge so what is the answer i think in this for this mcq there is no appropriate answer but the one that goes closest to the actual answer is t tends to infinity but i still don't think that is the right option because uh, in t tends to infinity it is implied that the capacitor is there is some non zero rate of charging of the capacitor which uh, is not the case because uh, according to our uh, arguments the capacitor should never begin to charge right so 
well uh, i mean had it had there been an option where i'll say the capacitor never begins to charge should have i would have marked that one but the best possible among the four here is okay but that's okay that's not really the right option but among them that's the best so that's 55 in our next video we will be solving question number 56